The nearby API allows you to create magical, serendipitous experiences, like alerting a user about a coupon to their favorite store as they walk in the door, or alerting them that a friend is nearby just in time for lunch. This API uses wireless technologies such as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, but you don't have to worry about knowing them because it offers a simple plug and play interface that lets you focus on the app's functionality. Nearby Messages API allows interested users of your app to detect each other when they're in close physical proximity. The range for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on a 2.4 gigahertz frequency is 100 feet. It works by grouping devices as publishers or subscribers. A publisher is a device that sends out a broadcast message announcing its presence to whomever might be interested. A subscriber is a device that has signaled interest in certain publications. To use the nearby API, you must add the latest version of the GMS Play Services Gradle dependency. You will also need to use the Google Developer Console to get an API key and add it into the Android manifest file. Then your app can publish a message using nearby.getMessages client. When your app publishes a message, it uploads data to our server and then returns a token. The publisher device then broadcasts that token. Subscribers can discover the broadcasted token and go back to our server to retrieve the data being advertised. In the code, you add a callback to receive messages as a subscriber. Here are some best practices that will improve the quality and security of your user experience. First, you should not publish sensitive information through the nearby server since it is sent as plain text. Second, constant messaging will impact battery life. Lastly, after you verify close physical proximity through the nearby APIs, you can transition to something like Firebase Cloud Messaging to send messages. This solution is not draining on the battery. And that's all you need to add the nearby API into your apps. To learn more, check out the documentation below. Happy coding!